I've got a really cool new pull station to show you today. It is an EST278A-REL. It's a yellow manual release pull station. It's very similar to EST and Edwards' other pull station for fire alarms. However, this one's red and says fire, and this one's yellow and says manual release. These pull stations are meant to release something such as a door. It could be used on an agent release system. However, those pull stations are usually red and they usually say agent release on them. However, EST did keep the wording on this pull station vague so it can be used in a variety of different applications. Anyways, in order to pull it, what you do is, this one is a dual action model. Some of them come in single action models, but what you do is you lift this handle and then you pull for the manual release, just like that. The switch in the back is interesting. They were very helpful and they installed a switch that can activate two separate circuits through just one switch. And that is very nice when you're wiring up something like a door release. One switch can activate the door release and then the other circuit can activate something like an alarm. But in order to reset it, you just put the key in the side. It's, it's EST's CAT45 key. It's the same key for the other fire alarm pull stations. You open it up, you flip the switch back down to normal, and then you close the levers and relock up the pull station. So today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different that I haven't done a whole lot of on this channel. However, I have received some requests to do this over the years, so today we're gonna do it. But we're gonna show you today swapping out this other pull station that's right now on the voice evacuation board with this pull station wiring it up and all that and getting it ready to go for the next system test. Before I replace the pull station, I always think it's fun to give it one last pull before I take it down. So there it is, just pulled it. The system is unplugged, so nothing is gonna happen. It also does help me verify that there is truly no power in the system because I don't really like wiring things or installing things or replacing things when there is power in the system. So we'll go ahead and open up this pull station here and start unscrewing it from the back box. I do have a fancy little electronic drill here that, is, that helps me out and is really nice. And now that the pull station is unscrewed, I'm just gonna gently remove it from the back box here. I'll close it back up. And then it's really simple. We have two wires in the back here that we're just gonna unscrew with the electronic screwdriver. And now the pull station is completely off. Once the old pull station has been uninstalled, it's just a matter of taking these two wires here and reinstalling them into the new pull station. These wires go to the monitor module that is right here, and this monitor module is wired up to SLC1 on the fire alarm control panel. Since this is a conventional pull station and the panel that this is on is an addressable panel, we need a monitor module in order to wire it up to the SLC. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick one of the circuits in the back here and just plug in the wires through the terminals. And there we go, the new wires are in the terminals and now we just have to screw this new pull station onto the back box. Well, I think I might be encountering a problem with this pull station. <laughs> I can't get the key out because the BG-10 is in the way. So we might run into a problem in this system test where in order to reset it, we're gonna have to remove this BG-10 right here. We'll have to bring it down. And the pull station is installed. It's usually pretty easy to install pull stations. Other devices on a fire alarm system can be a little bit more complicated but overall, it's not too bad. I would test it out. However, there is nothing else installed on the system to test it out with. I haven't put in the notification appliances yet, so you might just have to stay tuned for the next 
voice evacuation system test to see it all being tested out in action. Thank you for watching this video. If you found any of it interesting, go check out some of my other videos. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and please have a great day.